Welcome, in front of me is an Asus ROG Phone 8 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. So, to get started, when you boot it up for the very first time, you should be presented with the language selection page. From here, from the drop down right here, find your desired language and simply tap on it and then select let's go. Next, we have internet connection, which will allow you to either connect to your Wi-Fi or mobile network and Wi-Fi. I can choose whichever one you want. You can obviously skip them by selecting next. Uh, and you don't need to connect to any kind of network, which will then bring you to the next page, which is user license agreement. You can click on more right here to see what you are agreeing to. And for some reason, the actual thing is already selected by default. So wouldn't that imply that you're not really agreeing to it as it's already selected? Just moral ambiguity right here. Anyway, let's select next anyway. Uh, know your privacy rights, uh, which is basically meaning you don't have any. Uh, and the nice question, are you above the age of 16? You know what? No. How about that? Are you sure you're under age of 16? Totally. Now, because I chose to not connect to Wi-Fi or mobile network, the device didn't set date and time automatically, so I can fix it up right here. Now, if you've chosen to connect to your network, this page will not show up at all. Next, we have Google privacy, like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can disable all of those if you don't want them, though I'm not exactly sure how much that actually changes. From there, moving on to the next page, we can select a protection to our device. We have three different options, fingerprint, face recognition, and pin pattern or password. Now, when using either one of the first two options, or both of them, face recognition or finger and fingerprint, uh, you will be always forced to select pin pattern or password. Now, the reason for that is if something would happen to your biometrics, meaning your face or your fingerprint, or both of them at the same time, you would uh, lose access to your device. And obviously those uh, sensors that tend to scan either your fingerprint or your face aren't always you know, infallible. So that's why you might want to select something like a pin pattern or password or need to. So if those fail in some way that they can't recognize uh, your biometrics, you can always just draw a sing single simple pattern and yeah, get access to your device. Or you can just not protect your device at all like I am. Anyway, next we have some uh, system preferences. So we have Aces optimized and uh, stock Android. So set commonly accessed uh, by users Aces optimized mode to quickly adjust your not exactly sure. This is just a random garbage that doesn't really say anything. So choose whichever one you want. I have no clue actually what it changes as the explanation is so vague. Next, we have the Aces account. Here you can log in with your Aces account or Google account. Uh, not exactly sure what the benefits are. Uh, register your Aces product uh, and you can get professional technical support and warranty services. You can also get those without the account, by the way, as you have two years warranty. Um, get the latest information about uh, Asus products and upcoming events, which you can do without also account by checking their website. Great, so it's useless. It's even more useless than Samsung's accounts. Next, we have some uh, system setup completed. Uh, Okay, so literally nothing page. Okay, here we can uh, choose our style for our home screen. I prefer the classic one instead of the gamer looking one. And also either light or dark theme. I'm gonna select light, gesture navigation or button navigation. I'm gonna be sticking with gestures. I don't need to learn it. I already know how to use it. Oh, for God's sakes, there we go, done. Got it, let's get rid of this. It started. Okay, we don't need Asus phone clone, not sure why that launched by default, so let's close it. And yeah, you should be presented with your home screen at this point. So, with that being said, this would complete your setup, and if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.